Good morning, and welcome to uh, the DHD video this morning. Uh, this is the next video in our ongoing series uh, for keeping folks updated uh, per various new products, services that we're offering, as well as questions that we're receiving uh, uh, periodically uh, from our clients. So today, we're going to uh, uh, take a focus on, for the next 15 minutes or so, talking about a common question that uh, Christian and I uh, do periodically receive on the DHDN, and that's some of the uh, uh, different terms and uh, strategies that uh, folks are asking us to define a little bit further. So, Christian, what would you say uh, with regards to that, for what we're going to talk a little bit yeah, about? So, today? a lot, I think, are acronyms, and something okay. that we here at CU Answers are known for, obviously, IRSC, Internet Retailer Support Center, and kind of what we're going to be talking about today, DHD, Developers Help Desk, and you can even see that we have listed here on the screen DHD within our logo. So credit unions are going to hear a lot about DHD, Developers Help Desk, custom projects, design studio, all those types of things. So definitely talking about those more common terms that are going to be listed on the site, as well as you're going to hear people talk about it, definitely. Great. So what we've done, Christian and I have put together a list of uh, maybe eight to ten uh, different acronyms and or terms uh, that folks are, are asking us to define a little bit more. So let's jump right in. We do want to keep, as we said, these videos to about 12 to 15 minutes, uh, quick hitting videos. Uh, so the first one we're going to talk about is what is DHD? Well, if you've seen any of our other videos, uh, certainly we started out, I believe, just about every one of those uh, by explaining a little bit uh, as far as the strategy of the DHD. Uh, to make a long story short, uh, the DHD really represents a newer CU Answers uh, business initiative started for helping clients design, uh, build, and manage custom software solutions in a creative new way. Uh, it's especially geared toward the client who uh, particularly has a vision uh, of a custom project idea and potentially a builder's mentality for taking a project lead and in working with the DHD team on that product vision. So that's what the DHD is. Let's talk about uh, this idea of DIT and DIY, Christian. We hear those a lot in the field, but why don't we uh, talk about those as far as what they represent now? Yeah, absolutely, and there's a, definitely a good spot out here on the DHD website that we have here under a builder soul that kind of helps credit unions determine what DIT versus DIY thinking is going to be. So traditionally, CU Answers has followed that DIT or do it together path where creating solutions for all credit unions to utilize, maybe up to 300 different credit unions in the CU Answers network, utilize that software as a do it together type of mentality. It's part of our DNA in being a cooperative. Absolutely, definitely. Now, transitioning over to the DIY, that's going to be do it yourself. So as you can see, we kind of have this table out here and definitely a great resource. And it's asking us questions and then here we have the answers for either the DIT, do it together, or DIY, do it yourself. And DHD is definitely focused around that DIY, doing it yourself. It's going to be your project. You pay for the project. You do the work. You write the spec, et cetera. So DIT, do it together, DIY, do it yourself. Terrific. Why don't we jump on to the third one that we have this morning, and that's what we commonly refer to as DS projects. Uh, in our world, uh, DS uh, stands for Design Studio. And certainly as we move into uh, deeper into 2018, folks are going to be uh, seeing more and more in the way of press releases, brochureware, uh, certainly our website, but just common uh, nomenclature for how we today are defining a custom project strategy within the DHD world. So as far as Design Studio is concerned, uh, Design Studio truly is uh, at the hub. It is the hub of our uh, DHD strategy. Uh, it really represents a custom project development strategy uh, in which the client is often the primary architect, uh, or in essence, the general contractor, if you will, uh, for designing, 
building and managing a custom project vision uh, that you potentially have. You are able to contract then with CU Answers. Uh, think of CU Answers as a subcontractor. In this case, in the design studio world, if you as the client represent the general contractor, CU Answers potentially sits in the background as a subcontractor. Uh, with you having the capability to only contract with uh, CU Answers for those professional and technical services uh, that you may require in fulfilling your project vision. So that's what Design Studio is. Christian has brought up or getting started uh, with a Design Studio project. All of this is provided in a lot of detail on the DHD site, and this will actually take you through the steps of how to get a design studio project in motion. So a lot here, but let's move on to the next one. And this kind of okay. dovetails into a couple of our other acronyms that we have listed out here, such as SSO, which is going to be a single sign-on project. And okay. that definitely could be a design studio project for the credit union, maybe creating an SSO within online banking, maybe something within CU base, such as like an NADA valuation, those types of things. So single sign-on SSO, if you see that ever posted out there anywhere, that's going to be single sign-on. Also, you can see we have another one that's listed out here, DEX. That's going to be a data exchange, and that can maybe be with an external vendor, maybe with a payment file that you're looking to do, et cetera. So DEX, D-E-X, that's going to be a data exchange, most commonly a design studio project for the credit union. Also, under vendor integrations, you'll find the SSO integrations, which SSO is going to stand for single sign-on. So that's not having to enter in your credentials within that new system. So you can see some examples that we have listed out here. Online bill pay integration, displaying check images, jump to a personal, personal financial management tool, et cetera. Any SSO or DEX project is most likely going to fall under the, your design studio umbrella. Very good. One of the uh, other common terms that uh, we've used at CU Answers for a long time, and, and certainly we still have folks uh, engaged with us on, holy cow, what does that represent again? And that's the term of OTB. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it does not stand for off-track betting, as we have a lot of folks to first ask it. It really stands for off-trial balance. And certainly if you have uh, been working with CU Answers and certainly uh, from a CU base perspective in managing some of your different third party vendor relationships and things that you may be doing with them, you've likely come across the strategy of OTB. In the DHD world, uh, we really talk about OTB in a couple of different ways. Um, first of all, we believe that the uh, off trial balance tool uh, is a wonderful tool for providing a much more complete picture of the credit union member relationship uh, in being a full service provider, meaning your credit union. Uh, most folks today want to do everything they can with their membership uh, to offer a more complete vision, i.e. Uh, being a full service provider. And certainly the uh, the OTB strategy is a terrific way to do that. These are typically products that are uh, outside the normal trial balance products uh, tracked by CU base. Uh, they're handled uh, normally via uh, manual balance uh, sheet entries and tracked via a third party system. In the DHD world, the OTB database is designed to take much of that key information about these types of credit union relationships and deliver it to CUB. Then make it available to your members and credit union staff. All right, Christian brought up the screen here uh, pertaining to uh, different things. There's a full section that sits out here uh, as related to OTB. Two or three common OTB relationships that we see uh, technically uh, represent a credit representing a credit union and third-party vendor relationship, but which for data is being brought into CU base for the members to see, uh, would be things like uh, uh, credit card data, all right, as a for instance. 
perhaps a special mortgage yep. that may be sitting with a third party mortgage company and we're able to bring that type of data into CU Base for the member to see uh, as a part of their experience uh, in working with your credit union. Uh, investment services are something that we commonly see that may be uh, with a third party vendor, but certain data again is being brought into CU Base on a regular basis, again, for your members to have that most fulfilling experience in how they engage with your credit union. So that's what OTB is. Christian, why don't we uh, move on to a next one? Yeah, absolutely. So the next one, kind of a high level one that we want to cover are APIs, which API is going to stand for Application Programming Interface. We hear a lot about that today, don't we? Absolutely. So that's kind of like Lego. So it allows us to connect to different systems. And you can come out here under Toolbox and getting started with an API project kind of see some high level information, how you can get familiar with the APIs that are listed on the DHD site, et cetera. So once we actually click on that getting started with APIs, it brings us to the API documentation portal, which lets you know what APIs are currently available. So here are just some examples. Let's utilize the indirect lending as an example. What this does is allow you to maybe create your own online web form for members to be able to apply for a loan and utilize those API endpoints where that will actually submit those applications into CU Base. So what that is, is connecting your online web form that you've created into CU Base and funneling those loan applications directly into your loan queue. So from a credit union standpoint, very quickly, Christian, what, what's the benefit uh, if they're working with a third party and the third party uh, has interest in potentially uh, interfacing with uh, certain portions of CU Base or it's mm -hmm. B247, uh, what's the benefit to having these APIs that CU Answers will help develop for them? So any APIs, first off, the benefit is these are free to the credit union. They don't okay. have to pay for any of them. They just have to fill out the documentation, yep. license agreement schedules, et cetera, for access to those APIs. And then also with these APIs, these projects, it's really on the credit union. It's their spec, what they want. Etc. So that's another benefit that they have the ability to control their project. Perfect. So once an API is developed, I mean it really is a huge value to both the client and the vendor because in essence we're able to provide snippets of uh, CU Base or uh, the mobile app or It's Me 247. And in essence, if we uh, help work with the uh, client and or a vendor in developing an API, a third-party vendor is able to take that specific snippet of programming and much more quickly and inexpensively embed their third party Absolutely. application uh, accordingly. Is that yep, correct? That is correct, definitely. Terrific. Well, let's move on to the next one that we commonly hear about. Uh, that's representing SDLC uh, or Software Development Lifecycle. Uh, we do get that question from folks on, holy cow, we see that referenced in different areas such as when we go out to look at a design studio project, uh, we see that the uh, SDLC is referenced uh, accordingly. What does that represent? Well, in CU Answers world, in working with the, uh, uh, the DHD, it really represents CU Answers. Uh, it's our policy document is what it is. And it provides a detailed description of the CU Answers software development factory life cycle, it's all of the processes and procedures that really governs our software development processes. Mm -hmm. um, all the way to, uh, from things such as project we request, how do I submit a project, uh, we talk about idea forms, uh, development processes for how CU Answers develop software. How projects are approved, different approval matrices, et cetera, that we have set here at CU Answers. Exactly. So quality control type mm -hmm. strategies, uh, how we write documentation, things along those lines. So all of those things are incorporated within the CU Answers SDLC. It's free to you. Uh, it's readily available on our DHD site for you to be able to get uh, heads up, it is about a 65-page document, as I recall, but it really is our deep dive into how CEO answers It's the governing strategy for how we handle uh, software development at CEO answers mm -hmm. Well, Christian, why don't we tackle 
a uh, couple more here. I think we have about uh, three or four minutes left. Yeah, absolutely. So the first one is going to be a spec, and most people would know what a spec is. A spec is going to be a specification, and it kind of relates to DHD because you at the credit union are coming up with your idea. You're building your specification. So maybe that's going to be items that are located within CU base, and maybe you have an idea of something that needs to change, or maybe you have a high-level overview idea of how a membership application or loan application should work, et cetera. So if you go down to have someone build something for me, Christian, as a, for instance, we can show the clients where this is built out. So there you go. Right in the middle of the page, go up a little bit if you would. Yeah. All right, right in the middle of the page, we have a complete online tool and links embedded within the DHD site that will even uh, give you an overview on what it means to write either a research or perhaps a more comprehensive mm -hmm. Uh, design spec. We give you templates. We give you best practices. We give you examples for how to do this process. So again, we're here to help you in whatever way we can yeah. in thinking about uh, custom software development. And certainly specification writing is a huge part yeah. anytime you want to talk about uh, custom projects. Is that correct? Absolutely. You need that spec. So basically programmers can follow that if you don't have a spec. What's the programmer going to follow in that scenario? So huge part of any custom design studio project. All right, why don't we tackle one more? I see we're about out of time here, Christian. We are trying to keep these, as I said, to about uh, uh, 12 to 15 minutes. Certainly we'll be having follow-ups to this one uh, as we have uh, additional questions relating to terminology, acronyms, things like that that come in. Uh, let's mention one more, and that's our online store. Absolutely. And Christian, why don't you talk just a little bit, wrapping this up about the online store, since uh, uh, this is something that you're uh, very close to on yeah, a daily basis. Absolutely. So here available from the DHD site, you can see we have shop. It's also going to be listed here from this red banner. Visit our online store. Once a user clicks on that, they're then brought into the DHD section of the CU Answers online store. And right away, you can see different categories that we have listed out here, as well as processors that we might currently integrate with. So an example, ATM, debit card processors, credit card processors, so on. Also something out here, we have DHD project consultation. So maybe you don't know where to start with your project. You have the ability to come out here and say, okay, I just want to reach out to DHD and have an initial project discussion. You can provide us with a high level overview of your idea. And then me and Scott will be in contact with the credit union as soon as we receive that and vet your idea. So in essence, the online store really represents um, our vision for moving into an online, a true online shopping experience, an Amazon.com yep. type shopping experience. What we're hearing more and more from especially young developers coming up, uh, folks getting into the market space today, they really want to have a tool like this where they can, they have an idea, they want to be able to go out in an online store, click on something that they know they have interest in, be able to perhaps do some initial research, and even be able to order that product uh, through the DHD team and be able to move the process forward that way. Whether it's Access consulting. any documentation that might be associated with that project, exactly. maybe who they need to get in contact with to start that project, et cetera. It's all going to be available from each of these tiles listed within the online store. Terrific. Exciting stuff. Uh, folks, thanks for joining us today. Christian and I uh, look forward to our next POV uh, that will be coming up uh, uh, in the next couple of weeks here. So have a great day, everybody. Bye, everyone.